have to uh, talk about here is, is this is not a static kind of uh, shot. In other words, if you're hunting rabbits, you find the rabbit in the grass, you post up on him, you take your shot and everything's very static. Um, even squirrels in the trees, you know, they'll run to a spot, get in a crook. You know, you set up on him and you shoot, it's a static situation. But now with these pheasants that we're shooting here, it's a whole different ball game. And I want to talk about it for just a moment because it, it can be very uh, uh, risky with regard to your response from the time the bird leaves the ground till he gets airborne. What happens as a natural knee jerk reaction is you want to shoot the slingshot with a full draw. You want to get it drawn and then you want to do this and let it go. Well, that's going to be a real mistake for you because unlike a bow and arrow that's attached to the string and then in the knock on the bow, everything is connected yeah, together. Yeah. So you can move the bow and release the arrow. But with a slingshot, if you watch what I'm doing here, I got an anchor here, I'm anchored, and then I move this and let go. If I'm moving this at the same time I let go, I'm running my hand in front of the path of the projectile. In which case you can have uh, finger, you know, hits, thumb hits, fork hits, and <laughs> fork hits, and you can really hurt yourself. So, what you have to do, you have, you got to discipline yourself to do, go ahead and make up your mind where you're going to make your shot. Try and lead the bird. He gets up left to right, right to left, or or in front going away. Uh, whatever he does, you got to anticipate where he's going, see him going, time him, get in front of him, and hold your f position get set up and then let go and hope that hope for the best it's, <laughs> actually, it's the very best, tough we've shoot. had some very good it's a very good shots i mean the guys up here some of them just picked up the slingshots for the first time yesterday and they've you know taken out we've had birds. we've had at least four or five guys that have had their slingshot in their hand less than 24 hours that have had direct hits on the birds today yeah. now some of them weren't necessarily dead out kill shots but they were direct hits, brought the bird down, and we end up getting the bird. But yeah. hey, and then Bobby's having a good and day. And that's too. remarkable. Bobby has made a direct hit kill shot. He, I made a I he, made a direct hit kill shot, and Jer huh? yeah, he's on that luck from that deer. That's what it is. Bobby yeah, is. yeah. Bobby's <laughs> riding high on the big uh, eight point that he killed. Ten, ten but, point. Uh, ten point. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he's got the unicorn horn coming that's right. out of his head. That's, <laughs> that's a, a non typical. That's going to be a very unique uh, mount right there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, back to the uh, back to what we're talking about. You got to be careful about moving targets when you're shooting a slingshot because this is not connected. Because this is anchored, and you move and let go, you're moving your hand in the path of that projectile. You got to be very careful about that. Be advised. Don't do that. Make up your mind where you're going to shoot. Post up. Get your shot. Hold fire. I mean, hold your uh, your slingshot hand and let it go and hope for the best. And that's the best you can do. Of course, practicing shooting your aerials is the best thing you do before you come to a pheasant hunt. But again, I mean, even these guys, uh, like I said before, we got four or five guys here, never shot slingshots before. We've got the best equipment you can buy. There's not a better slingshot on the market for this kind of hunting. And it fits in their hands and they're just uh, natural shooters. And hey, we're making it happen. We're we're really right now out of what? How many birds we have flown? 22. We've yes. flown 22 birds. We've killed about 15. I think 17. 17. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're 17 we for shot 20. the last the last four. Yeah, we're 17 for yeah. 22 birds right now, and and there's only what about five shooters that have even shot before. Yeah. The rest of us have Actually, not really. Actually, three shooters. Oh, uh, you count Bobby. Me, Bobby, Tom, and jo uh, Jared. Yeah. yeah. There's four shooters four. that have had any experience with this at all, and the other the rest of the whole crew. And what do we got? 16 guys. Yep. Man, hey, we're we're rock and rolling. I don't know what percentage that is, but 17 for 22 uh, is pretty darn good. Yeah. We don't know where he's going. Okay. He's going that away. Got him! Get him, get him, get him. I'm sorry. You didn't find something. She's going. She just needs something moving. That's what right. it is. Oh, nice. 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 O
Oh, Look at that girl. Ball. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Oh, yeah. They're dropping like flies. Right. It's all right, Don. <laughs> it's all right. I think there's a seat. Oh, Don wants to fill that hole. I think there's a seat a spread right. there. All right, Dan, you ready? Ready. Cook Eat it. it. Eat it. Got a frying pan. Hey, don't forget, Don. I got butter. cooking supper for us. Yeah. Alright guys, here we are at day two. We got one team in the field, one team on deck, some of the other guys up on the hill at the camp doing some skill-based activities. So it's pretty interesting that we can facilitate different groups here on this piece of property here at Don's uh, Fishing and Hunting Adventures. So really cool stuff and uh, we're sure to have some more fun today, so stay tuned. You can see see the hole right there in the back of its head, back of its neck, right here. Man, these are amazing. Going this way, but get around there, Tom. Don't let her. Oh, you hear that? I got a wing. Keep messing me. I'm gonna try to back him up and he's gonna fly. Got him. 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 Got him.